It is time to glow up for 2024. I woke up with the craziest bedhead, but I think that means I slept well, right? Anyways, this video, I'm gonna be walking you through all the best tips I found online. I did my research on how to glow up the best New Year's resolutions in the categories of health, physical appearance, mental, everything, we got it. And I thought the best way to show it is through a vlog because personally, I hate watching people just sit and talk and I rather see someone do something so you can watch me in my day anyways the first way i want to talk about glowing up is through your health because i think it's true you really do glow from the inside out and your fitness your well-being is a good indicator of that from the research i've gathered online when it comes to working out consistency is key but i think it's important to choose a workout that's actually difficult only 60 percent of the time in order to start and so it's easy enough that you can do it every day and build up that consistency. Because everyone online talks about be consistent, be consistent, but how do you actually do that? And I think when you start off with something that is doable but a little bit challenging, it allows you to show up every day. And from there, you can build on and add more difficult workouts or extend the time. So for example, when I was really new to my fitness journey, I would only work out like half an hour a day. It was during COVID, so I would do like a 30 minute YouTube video workout or I'd go to the gym for 30 minutes. And I made it hard enough that obviously I was progressing in my strength, but it was easy enough that I didn't experience burnout. I also don't believe you need to work out every day in order to see progress, but more so this concept of making it just 60% difficult enough will make sure that you show up if not tomorrow, then the next day. And the reason I mentioned working out first in talking about glowing up is because it's about building confidence, not just about your appearance. Because when you feel confident in your abilities and your lifestyle, you won't just let the wrong people come into your life and you'll feel pretty secure with yourself. It's like that little quote of, if you chase butterflies, they're gonna fly away, but if you build a beautiful garden, the right ones will come to you. Another aspect of feeling confident in your body and appearance is skincare. Your skin is seen as an indicator of health and evolutionarily, we as humans see good skin as more attractive. So find a skincare routine that works for you. I've included some non-harsh brands if you have sensitive skin like me down in the description. But the biggest dictator of your health is of course nutrition. Switching up your hair a little is like a fun way to feel more confident. So I'm gonna go get my hair done with David in Santa Barbara. I'm gonna link him here. Wow, it's so sunny. But you can see, also because I worked out, my hair is kind of wet and I feel like he's gonna be looking at me and being like, gross we definitely need to wash your hair <laughs> but that's fine i also brought myself a cold brew in a jar that was originally like with juice from lazy acres reduce reuse recycle i'll always reuse like glass bottles especially but even when i buy like a bottle of water i'll reuse it even like five times which sounds gross but i just feel wasteful just like buying a plastic bottle and throwing it away so i don't know why i threw that in there on that topic of confidence, switching up your look can be a fun way to feel refreshed and new for 2024. Color matching your hair to your skin tone can make you look more warm or glowy versus washed out. While getting your hair done isn't necessary and it is expensive, it just adds that feeling of confidence. Like, I felt so good after this hair appointment with David, I felt much more comfortable in my skin. And when it comes to nutrition for glowing up, we're focusing on balanced meals this year that include a carb, a healthy fat, a protein source, and some fiber if you can include it. But probably the most important part of this glow up is your mental. The best thing I've done for myself is cut out negative people, media. I try really hard not to speak down about myself or speak out loud and judge others. Even gossiping and just being critical can lower your mood and put you in a negative mindset. So how do you avoid that and what are ways you can be more positive without necessarily cutting people from your life? For me, I try to practice gratitude every day by saying out loud in the mirror things that I love and are grateful for. Also, as I'm talking, I'm realizing I'm doing a bit of a nighttime self-care glow up routine. I'm putting in white strips to whiten my teeth. I also have an eye mask on and then I'm putting on this like sleepy time lotion that has magnesium in it and also smells so good. Sometimes pampering myself like this just affirms that I take really good care of myself. <laughs> 
Also something I love doing before going to bed is drinking an herbal tea and spraying some of this magnesium sleepy time mist over my pillow and I swear I just knock out. Also as a bonus to this vlog, the next day I went to Las Vegas for New Year's Eve and I thought I would take you with me. My friends and I arrived at around noon on Sunday and we checked into our hotel. We had the whole afternoon to just relax and be like little kids. We like played around. It was so much fun. Here are our outfits that we were setting up to get ready for the night. Then we went and got like a late lunch. Because it was a holiday, I got myself a little margarita, a burger and fries. I did some self-care before we started blasting music, playing, dancing around. And we took a good three hours to get ready so that we could take our time, also get some photos together and just chat, catch up, girlfriends. You know the drill, like, it was a blast. It was honestly such a fun New Year's Eve, one of the best nights I had of 2023 slash, I guess, the start of 2024. Honestly, such an incredible way to start the new year. How never gets go, get ready, ladies. And I'm hopeful to share more memories like this with you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.